Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we'll be covering the news from February 18th to 24th. Let's get started. How much interim surplus will the RBI transfer to the central government for the half year ended 31st December 2018? Which bank has announced an immediate waiver of all the loans availed by the 23 CRPF soldiers who were martyred in the dreadful terrorist attack in Pulwama, Jan on Jammu and Kashmir on February 14th. In which year has the government of India instituted Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony? Global sportswear giant Puma has made Dash its brand ambassador for a two-year period. The two-day international colloquium on ethics and governance of autonomous AI system for a better world was held where? Here are your answers. 28,000 crore rupees will be transferred as the uh, interim dividend. That's for the half year ended 31st December 2018. The State Bank of India has announced the immediate waiver of all loans availed by 23 CRPF soldiers who were martyred in the dreadful terrorist attack in Pulawama. The President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovin, presented Tagore Award for Culture Harmony for the year 2014, 15, and 16 to Sri Rajkumar. Singhajit Singh, Shaya North, a cultural organization of Bangladesh, and Sri Ram Vanji Sutar, respectively, at the function held in New Delhi. Tagore Award was uh, for Cultural Harmony was instituted by the government from 2012. Six time World Women Boxing Championship, MC Maricom, was named the brand ambassador for global sportswear giant Puma for a two year period. A two-day international colloquium on ethics and governance of autonomous AI system for a better world was inaugurated by Union Commerce Minister Suresh Prabhu and Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government, Professor K. Vijay Raghavan in New Delhi. Let's look at the next. Who has inaugurated Cyber Prevention Awareness and Detection Center of Delhi Police in New Delhi? Who is the lawyer of Indian citizen Kulbhushan Jadav in International Court of Justice? Fateh. The submarine belongs to which country? Who is the current president of Argentina? Who, which country has become the 72nd to have signed the Framework Agreement of International Solar Alliance? Here are your answers. Home Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the Cyber Prevention Awareness and Detection Center, CYPAD. Pakistan violated Vienna Convention and Jadav custody in Pakistan should be declared unlawful. Eminent lawyer Harish Salve, he is the lawyer for our uh, Jadav. Iran has successfully launched a new locally made submarine capable of firing cruise missile. Speaking at the launch, President Hassan Rouhani said Iran is now fully self-reliant on land, air and sea. Local media said submarine named Fateh, Persian for conqueror, is Iran's first in semi-heavy category. India and Argentina exchanged 10 MOUs and agreement during Argentina's president Mauricio Marci ongoing three-day visit to India. Argentina became the 72nd country to sign the framework agreement of International Solar Alliance. Its headquarters is in Kurugram. Let's move ahead. Which country is planning to build a power station in space powered by sun? After the creation of two new districts, Narayanpet and Mulugu, now the state of Telangana, has how many districts? Noted Malakam coach Uday Deshpande and cricketer Dash were conferred the state government Shiv Chhatrapati Award at a function at the iconic Gateway of India. Which Indian company has signed 1.5 billion annual deal to import 3 million ton of crude oil from US? Which Indian NGO has won Laureate Sports for Good Award, becoming the third Indian entry to back the honor? Let's look at the answers now. China is planning to build a power station in space powered by sun. It is, you know, uh, thought that if this uh, technology can be developed ahead of 2013, that's the guideline set by the Chinese Space Agency. Now, Telangana, after this two new district, has 32 three districts in the state. Uh, noted Malakam coach Uday Desh Pandey and aggressive opening batsman Smriti Mandhana were conferred state government Shiva Chhatrapati award 
in the first ever deal by an Indian company, Indian Oil Corp IOC signed 1.5 billion annual deal to import 3 million ton of crude oil in the financial year beginning April 1. India has begun importing crude from US in year 2017. Yuva, a Jharkhand-based NGO which works for Girl Empowerment, won the Loris Sports for Good Award, becoming the third Indian entry to back the honor. Recently, where has the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities, implemented a scheme titled the Indial Disabled Rehabilitation Scheme? The three-day conference on Vision Zero is organized in which uh, place? Which team has won the ninth Hockey India Senior Women National Championship 2019 A Division? The first Malaga World Championship has been organized. Where? Scientists of which country has developed and bought the first walking robot that can explore its environment and find its way home without GPS or mapping, opening new avenues for navigation of autonomous vehicles. Let's look at the answers here. So the Deen Dial Disabled Rehabilitation Scheme Regional Conference was organized in Kolkata, West Bengal. The Vision Zero, its relevance to occupational safety and health was held in Mumbai. Railway Sports Promotion Board won their sixth straight title as they were crowned the champion of 9th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship 2019 A Division by defeating Madhya Pradesh 5-0 in the final at Hisar at the AstroTurf International Hockey Stadium. India emerged winner in the team event in the first Malakam World Championship that concluded in Mumbai. Almost 15 countries participated. The French National Center for Scientific Research took inspiration from the desert ants that we are talking about and this will help in autonomous navigation. Let's move to the next. DASH is the Pan India Number Under Emergency Response Support System ERSS for Women Safety. The 7th National Photography Award Ceremony was held where who had inaugurated the One Health India Conference 2019 in New Delhi. Namwar Singh was a famous writer of which literature who has launched Swayat initiative on government e-market place. Let's look at the answers here. The emergency response number that's 112. Information Broadcasting Minister Rajavadhan Singh Rathor gave the 7th National Photography Award to 13% in different ca categories in function at New Delhi. Two days long One Health India Conference 2019 was held in New Delhi. The conference was inaugurated by Dr. Harshvardhan, Union Science and Technology Minister. Noted Hindi writer Nam Singh passed away in New Delhi. He was 92. He was authored over a dozen books including Kavita K. Nay Pratiman. Chayavad Dusri Parampara Ki Coach among others. Union, Union Minister of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Suresh Prabhu launched Swayat in New Delhi. Swayat is an initiative to promote startups. Let's move to the next. Nikhat Zareen and Meena Kumari Devi are associated with which sports? Carl Lagerfeld, who died at the age of 85, was what? The first ever diesel to electric mode converted locomotive that has been flagged off by PM Modi was made by which company? The government has allowed startup that have raised capital up to how many crore to claim tax benefit as against 10 crores a year. Bramble K. Melomies of Australia has been officially declared extinct. What was it? Let's look at the answers here. Nikhat Zareen and Meena Kumari Devi were the first Indian woman boxer to win gold medals at the Stranza Memorial Tournament in Sofia, Bulgaria. Fashion legend Karl Lagerfeld, the rock star designer behind the rebirth of Chanel and Fendi, has died in Paris. PM uh, Modi flagged off the first ever diesel to electric converted locomotive. Diesel locomotive works in Varanasi. The Government has allowed startups that have raised capital up to 25 crore to claim tax benefit as against 10 crore a year. The number of years from incorporation and registration of firm will be considered a startup. A startup has been set to 10 years from 7 year. Rupees 100 crore ton over annual turnover limit of a firm to be recognized as startup up from 25 crore a year. An Australian rodent. Bramble K. Melomis that lived near Great Barrier Reef has been officially declared extinct, making the first known mammal killed off by climate change. Let's move to the next. Name the humanoid that is inducted by Kerala Police and becomes the first police department in the country to use the robot for police work. 
recently who has launched a new social impact bond to offer credit to rural women entrepreneurs where was the fourth international conference on pharmaceuticals and medical device held wallace smith broker who died at the age of 87 was pioneer in which field w.e.b griffin who died at the age of 89 was a famous what let's move to the next kerala police has inducted the humanoid police robot named kp bot the world bank the small industries development bank sidbi and the un human along with 10 wealth management firm leading corporate announced the launch of new social impact bond to offer credit to rural women entrepreneur to be raised by sidbi the women livelihood bonds would offer an annual coupon of 3% and will have tenure for 5 years the fourth international conference on pharmaceuticals and medical devices were held in bangalore wallace smith broker a pioneer scientist who raised early alarms about climate change and popularized the term global warming has died at the age of 87 w.e.b griffin the prolific and best seller author of military novels has died at the age of 89 that's eight time squash world champion nicole david belongs to which country named the robot that was inducted by chennai city corporation to get rid of manual scavenging named the first woman to head astronomical society of india Which Indian footballer was awarded first ever footballer ratna by Football Delhi which insurance company has launched micro bachat a new micro insurance plan Let's look at the answers now we're talking about eight time world champion Nicole David has announced she will retire at the end of 2018-19 squash season she was Malaysian she has been you know unrepresented 9 years she has spent as the uh, world champion world number 1 between 6 to 15 the name of the uh, uh, the robot which chennai wants to introduce to get rid of manual scavenging is bandicoot gc anupama she has been elected the president of astronomical society of india star indian striker sunil chetri was awarded first ever football ratna award by football delhi and life insurance corporation has launched new micro insurance plan called micro bachat recently which insurance provider has launched trip protector insurance policy who has conducted magnitude of substance use in india survey a group of ministers headed by gujarat deputy chief minister nitin patel which has favored dash percent tax on affordable housing category down from 8 has submitted its report to gst council the first of its kind regional rapid transit system rrts that has been proposed by goi will be constructed where how much target has been set up under national policy on electronic 2019 proposed by ministry of electronics and information technology in terms of turnover by 2025 here are answers hdfc ergo general insurance company india's third largest non life insurance provider in the private sector announced the launch of trip protector it will give you safeguard travelers against financial uh, loss that they can incur because of the cost of cancellation levied by hotels or airlines According to the magnitude of substance use in India survey conducted by National Drug Dependence Treatment Center of AIMS there are 16 crore people in the country that have reported consuming alcohol a group of minister headed by Gujarat Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Patel has favored 3% tax on affordable housing category down from 8% has submitted his report to GST council construction of RRTS that's regional rapid transit system we are talking about national capital territory or total of you know in first phase here they will have 82 kilometers here and the cost of construction you can see is 30274 crores the national policy on electronics proposed by the ministry of electronics and information technology seeks to promote domestic manufacturing and export in the entire value chain of esdm for economic development to achieve a turnover of us dollar 400 billion by 2025 Let's move to the next one. Which state celebrates its statehood day on Feb 20th? Dash took charge of chief of staff at the headquarters of the Southern Command in Pune. The government has launched Operation Digital Board to provide better digital education. These are applicable from which class? Recently, 150 student of which country were awarded prestigious Mahatma Gandhi scholarship for study in India? Which company has been recognized as the global top employer for fourth consecutive year by top employers institute here are your answers mizoram and 
uh, Arunachal Pradesh, they uh, celebrate their statehood day on February 20th. Lieutenant General Dipinder Singh Ahuja took charge of Chief of Staff at the headquarters of Southern Command in Pune. Indian government has launched Operation Digital Board on the lines of Operation Blackboard to provide better digital education in school. Human Resource Development Minister Prakash Javedkar said under the initiative, 7 lakh classroom of 9th, 10th and 11th and 2 lakh classrooms of college and universities will be equipped with digital boards in next 3 years. Sri Lanka's 150 students from all 25 districts were awarded prestigious Mahatma Gandhi Scholarship Award for studying in India. Tata Consultancy Services has been recognized as the global top employer for fourth consecutive year by the Top Employer Institute and is the only company among top 10 IT services brand to receive the certification. Minister Radha Mohan Singh has inaugurated the 14th Agriculture Science Congress where recently Government of India approved 48,239 crore of recapitalization to how many public sector banks? who inaugurated Sikaria Mega Food Park Private Limited at Village Tulakona in Agartala, the first mega food park in the state of Tripura. Dash in collaboration with National Center of Excellence and Advanced Research on Diet, UNICEF India and Lady Irwin College organized a national workshop on promoting healthy diets through local food system in New Delhi and named the app developed by the students of IIT Delhi to slay hoaxes floating around in social media. Let's look at the answers here. The 14th uh, Agriculture Science Congress, it happened in New Delhi. 48,239 crore, it was given to 12 public sector banks. United Minister of State and Food Processing Industries, Shad Thadvid Niranjan Jyoti inaugurated the Sikaria Mega Food Park, Private Limited at Village, Tulakona in Agartala. With the aim to improve nutritional choices and enhance dietary diversity of India, the Niti Ayog in collaboration with National Center of Excellence and Advanced Research on Diet, UNICEF India and Lady Irwin organize a national workshop on promoting healthy diets. Students of IIT have developed an app called What's Fuzzy to slay hoaxes floating around social media. Let's look at the next five. Which agency has forecasted that India will remain the fastest growing? major economy in the next decade 2019 to 2028. Atukul Pongala is the annual festival of Atukul Bhagwati temple where the world day of social justice is observed on what day of February the 55th Munich security conference was held where under the new guidelines of IRDI what is the minimum basic sum ensured under the standard product. Let's look at the answers now. India will remain the fastest growing major economy much ahead of India in the next decade. This report is prepared by Oxford Economics. Cutting edge uh, across ages, thousands of women took part in the famous Atukul Pongal, one of the largest religious congregation of women. Preparing Pongal, a sweet offering is considered an auspicious all-woman ritual as a part of annual festival. Atukul Bhagwati Temple in Trivanantpuram, which is also popularly known as Women's Sabrimala. On 26 November 2007, the General Assembly declared that starting from 63rd session of General Assembly, 20th February will be celebrated annually as the World Day of Social Justice. The 55th Munich Security Conference was held in Munich, that's a place in Germany. And IRDA has issued draft guidelines that will make available at standard health product across the industry and will be offered by all insurance during general and health insurance business. The under the sum insured, the minimum basic sum insured under the standard product shall be 50,000, while the maximum could be capped at 10 lakh. Let's move to the next one. The Ordnance Factory Board has received a bulk production clearance from the Indian Army and the Defence Ministry for the production of how many Dhanush artillery guns? Who is the new CEO of Nasper owned PayU? Name the Tele Law mobile application that is integrated with a dashboard and an application launched by Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad that enable the paralegal volunteers to perform on field. Which country has conferred Grand Cross of the Order of Civil Merit on Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj? Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed bin Salman on his visit to India has announced the increase in quota for Indian Hajj pilgrim to how many? We are talking about the order of 114 Dhanush artillery guns. Nasper owned PayU, leading online payment service provider, has appointed 
the Anirban, uh, person Anirban Mukherjee as the new chief executive operations uh, officer for its India's operation. The law minister Ravi Shankar Prasad launched a telelaw mobile application that is integrated with dashboard and an application called Nyay Bandhu. The Spanish government will confer upon the minister the prestigious Grand Cross of the Order of Civil Merit for India's swift response through Operation Maitri in rescuing 71 Spanish nationals from Nepal in April 2015 in the wake of the disastrous earthquake. Okay, that, that's a award is given to uh, Shushma Swaraj. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, has talked about increasing the quota to 200,000 now. How much interest will the EPFO provide on Provident Fund deposit for 2018-19 in percentages? Who has been appointed as the first ombudsman under the new BCCI constitution? Who will conduct the survey called All India Citizen Survey of Police Service under Bureau of Police Research and Development of Ministry of Home Affairs? International Mother Language Day is celebrated every year on what day of February? Rajkumar Bajatya, who died at the 75 years of age, was associated with the field of what? So now the EPFO has decided to provide the rate of 8.65% this year. Last year it was 8.55. The Supreme Court appointed a retired judge of the court, Justice D.K. Jain, as the first ombudsman under the new BCCI constitution approved by the court in judgment on August 9 last year. The Ministry of Home Affairs has commissioned the Bureau of Police Research and Development to conduct a pan-India survey called All India Survey of Police Service. The survey will be conducted by National Council of Applied Economic Research, New Delhi. International Mother Language Day is celebrated every year on 21st February. Rajkumar Bajati is the father of the filmmaker Suraj Bajati and son of founder Rafti Rajshree. Picture Tarachan Bajatya. Let's uh, move to the next. Minister of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Suresh Prabhu inaugurated the fourth Indian Asian Expo and Summit 2019 at which place? Who has been crowned Miss India USA 2019? Who inaugurated the Waste to Wonder Park under South Delhi Municipal Corporation? How many ordinances have been promulgated by the President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, on 21st Feb? Who has been elected as the President of the Foundation Board for Better Boxing, the world governing body of the sport, IBA? Let's look at the answers here. Ministry of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation, Suresh Prabhu, inaugurated 4th Indian Asian Expo Summit in New Delhi. Kim Kumari of New Jersey has been crowned Miss India USA 2019. The Union Minister uh, Sri Rajnath Singh has inaugurated Ways to Wonder Park under the South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Seven replicas have been made with the use of scrap of automobile part and other metalwork like fan, rod, iron sheet, nut bolt, bicycle, bicycle part, different sewer lines and age old appliance gathering dust in 24 municipal stores. The President of India on 21st February has promulgated the following four ordinances. The Muslim Women Protection of the Rights on Marriage, Second Ordinance, Indian Medical Council Amendment, Second Ordinance, the Company Amendment, Second Ordinance, yeah, and the Banning of Unregulated Deposit Scheme Ordinance. Indian Boxing Chief Ajay Singh has been elected the President of Foundation Board of Better Boxing of the World Governing Body of the Sport, IBA. He'll have tenure of four years. Let's look at the next. Recently, which country has unveiled the world's first female artificial intelligence news anchor? Uh, an adult female, Kelonoides Fantasticus, has been seen in more than 110 years and featured to be extinct is a what? Pratik Chaudhary, who died at the age of 55 years, was a famous what? Who inaugurated the Weber 2019 event? Shreyas Iyer is associated with which sports? Let's look at the answers here. China state-owned TV channel Xinhua unveiled the first female artificial intelligence news anchor. A living member of the species of tortoise not seen in more than 110 years and featured to be extinct has been found in the remote part of Galapagos Island of Fernandina. 
Bengali singer Pratik Chaudhary died at the city hospital after suffering a cardiac arrest. Union Minister of Electronic and IT Law and Justice Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad said National Informatics Center has the responsibility to deploy technology for improving governance and make growth more inclusive and sustainable. He was speaking at the inauguration of Vivid 2019. Shreyas Iyer etched his name in the history book by slamming the highest ever T20 score by an Indian batsman, 25 year old, struck 55 ball. 147 for Mumbai in Sayyid Mustaq Ali Trophy, Group C match against Sikkim in Indore. Let's look at the next. Stray Equipment Finance is tied up with which organization to jointly provide financing for construction and farm equipment? Which state has signed MOU with IIFL Home Finance Capacity Building for affordable housing through a credit link subsidy scheme under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana? Swami Hans Devachare, who died in an accident, was associated with which movement? Recently, which country has sent its moon mission through SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket? Name the asteroid on which Japan's Hayabusa 2 has landed. Here are your answers. Shrey Equipment uh, Finance has now tied up with state-owned syndicate bank to jointly provide financing for construction and farm equipment. IIFL Home Finance signed a memorandum of understanding with Maharashtra government for capacity building for affordable housing through credit link subsidy scheme under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. Swami Hans Dev Charya, a key figure associated with the Ram Temple movement, died in a road accident in Uttar Pradesh, Unnao district. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from Florida, carrying Israel's first lunar lander on a mission that, if successful, will make Jewish state only the fourth nation to achieve controlled touchdown on moon surface. Even India's was not a controlled touchdown. Japan's Hayabusa 2 spacecraft briefly landed on asteroid named Ryugu uh, more than 200 million miles from Earth and fired a bullet to scoop up a rocky sample successfully accomplishing one of the mission's most challenging maneuver before returning the asteroid specimen to scientists on the ground in December 2020. Veteran Drash, a movie director, Cody Ramakrishnan, died at the age of 70 year. Which country has been tracking millions of people using DNA database with the help of American expertise? What is the rank of India in world travel and tourism? Power and Performance Index. Name the first country whose parliament unanimously passed a motion condemning the terror attack on Central Reserve Police Forces, which Indian has been elected as the Vice President of Asia Hockey Federation. Here are your answers now. We are talking about veteran Telugu movie director Kodi Ramakrishnan, who died nearly 200, you know, who directed nearly 202 movies in career spanning 37 years, passed away. Chinese authorities have been tracking millions of people in its far west region of Jingjiang using a DNA database with the help of American expertise. India has climbed 7th rank in 2017 to 3rd rank in 2018 in World Travel and Tourism Council Power Performance Index which had an impact on civil aviation sector. Union Minister for Tourism KJ Alphonse mentioned that the tourism sector alone has created 14 million jobs in the country in the last four years and will continue to generate more jobs in the coming year. The Parliament of New Zealand unanimously passed the motion condemning the terror attack on the Central Reserve Force in Jammu and Kashmir Pulawama on 14th February. India's Mohammed Mustaq Ahmed and Asima Ali were elected the Vice President and Executive Committee member of Asian Hockey Federation for a four-year term in Jifu, Japan. Name the first woman to receive Global Future of Nature Award for her work on marine conservation who gave away the Digital India Awards 2018 recently. Where has the Union Textile Minister Smriti Irani launched the integrated scale airy farming under the Northeast Region Textile Promotion Scheme? World Thinking Days observed on what day of February? The Regional Maritime Safety Conference 2019 was held where? Let's look at the answers. Dr. Divya Karnad became the second Indian and the first woman to receive Global Future of the Nature Award. 
The Digital India Award have been instituted under the ambit of National Portal of India by National Informatics Center MEITY to promote exemplary initiative in e-governance using the medium of World Wide Web. Honorable Minister of Electronics and IT Law and Justice Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad conferred Digital India Awards 2018. Union Textile Minister Smriti Rani launched the integrated large scale dairy farming in Arunachal Pradesh. The World Thinking Day is observed on 22nd of February and the Regional Maritime Safety Conference 2019 was organized by India for the first time in Mumbai. Asset finance company, loan companies and Dash have been merged into a new category called NBFC Invest and Credit Companies. During his visit to South Korea, PM Modi became the Dash recipient of Seoul's Peace Prize who became the first woman to fly the light combat aircraft. S. Rajendran was the sitting MP of which political party? Which African country has declared a state emergency? To provide greater operational flexibility to non-banking lender, the Reserve Bank created a single category for them by bundling their present three-tier structure. The central bank also decided to exposure to all NBFC including core investment companies will be risk weighted as per credit ratings. Asset finance companies, loan companies and investment companies have been merged into new categories called NBFC investment and credit companies. The Seoul Peace Prize, PM Modi became the 14th, 14th recipient of the award since 1990. Creating history at Aero India 2019 badminton sensation PV Sindhu became the first woman to fly light combat aircraft. She is now among the youngest to co-pilot the fighter jet built by Hindustan Aeronauticals. The sitting Lok Sabha member from AIADMK S. Rajendra died in a road accident. He represented Villupuram constituency in Tamil Nadu. Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir declared state of emergency for one year and called a national dialogue amid the political crisis in North African country. Kushi scheme belongs to which state? Recently, Justice Umanath Singh took oath as the first Lokayukt of the state of which uh, place the new currency, the RTGS dollar belongs to which country? Which state has become the first to have two Coast Guard district headquarters? The delegates of how many countries have participated in Kumbhela and Prayagraj? Let's look at the answers here. Odisha government approved 466 crore over a period of five years for the Kushi scheme aimed at improving the menstrual hygiene among adolescent girls and students in the state. The first Lokayukt of Nagaland, Justice Umanath Singh took oath of the office. Zimbabwe has started to trade new currency. It's called RTGS dollar. Initiated by the frequent issues pertaining to fishermen, Tamil Nadu became the first state in the country to get Second Coast Guard District Headquarter at Thotukudi. Indian Council for Cultural Relations organized a special event at Pravasi Bharatiya Kendra to facilitate delegates from 188 countries. Let's look at the next one. Recently, where was FATF Plenary and Working Group meeting held? The festival named Words in the Garden was held where? Alyssa Haley is a woman cricketer of which team? Which company has been honored with the prestigious Fiki CSR Award for Women Empowerment? The conference on the future of Indian banking was held where? FATF, uh, that's Financial Action Task Force, decided to keep Pakistan on its grey list at the end of the week-long plenary meeting in Paris. Curated by renowned Hindi poet Ashok Vajpayee, Third extensive festival of Sanatan Sangeet Sankriti is theme Bapu Ki Dilli. A three-day fest on Gandhian philosophy was held in New Delhi. Australia wicketkeeper Alisa Haley set new Guinness world record after achieving the feat for the highest catch of the cricket ball at Melbourne Cricket Ground. Haley caught a ball which was dropped from a drone 80 meter above MCG as per the newspaper Guinness Book of World Records is 82.5 meters. General Steel and Power Limited has been honored as the prestigious Fiki CSR Award for Women Empowerment and Niti Ayo co-hosted co -hosted conference on the future of Indian banking with Foundation for Economic Growth and Welfare. Dr. Rajiv Kumar, Vice Chairman Niti Ayo inaugurated the event at New Delhi. 
named the India's biggest quiz contest launched by SBI. PM Narendra Modi has launched the ambitious Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme from which place? The oil marketing companies will engage more than 10,000 rural women as Ujwala Didis to act as a grassroots energy ambassador across the state of which state we are talking about to ensure sustainability of LPG use. Who has been honored with 2018 Player of the Year award by the Asian Hockey Federation? Which state has decided to induct sniffer dog to check smuggling of liquors? Here are your answers. We are talking about the quiz contest named the Numero Uno, the competition targeted at undergraduate and PG students between 18 and 30 years of age, done by SBI. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the ambitious Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi PM Kisan scheme, transferring the first installment of 2000 each to over 1 crore farmers in Gorakhpur, UP. In Odisha, oil marketing companies will engage more than 10,000 rural Ujwala Didis to act as grassroots energy ambassador across the state to ensure sustainability of LPG use. Asian Hockey Federation has honored Indian skipper Manpreet Singh with 2018 Player of the Year Award. Women team striker Lal Rame Siami has bagged Rising Player of the Year Award. Bihar is seeking help from specially trained dog to check smuggling of liquors. Let's look at these now. In the 33rd meeting, GST Council has decided to levy how much GST on affordable housing applicable from 1st of April 2019. Aero India 2019 was which edition? Uh, recently, the state has launched a boat ambulance service to ferry patients to hospital in a remote area at the cost of 5.4 crore. Cobra Gold Military Exercise was held where? Who is the winner of the gold in men 10 meter air pistol final uh, final international shooting sports federation world cup held in new delhi let's look at the answers now the gst council has talked about the rate of five percent without itc on residential properties outside affordable segment and gst shall be levied and effective of one percent without itc on affordable housing properties curtain came down in aero india air force station yela hanka in bengaluru the was 12th edition. Odisha government has launched the boat ambulance service to ferry patient to hospital in remote areas at the cost of 5.4 crores. Cobra Gold, one of the Asia's oldest and largest military exercise was held in Thailand, wrapped up uh, for another year after 11 days. Saurav Chaudhary created a world record by winning gold medal in the men's 10 meter air pistol final shooting International Shooting Sports Federation World Cup in New Delhi. Doing that, he has secured third uh, Tokyo Olympic quota. Let's look at the next one. Who has been elected as the President of Wrestling Federation of India? Which country has become the largest source of FDI to India during the period of April, December 2018? Which company has ranked or topped among the Indian companies in 2019 list of most 50 most innovative companies published by US based business publication Fast Company. Who is the winner of Pro Volleyball League 2019 and the Central Excise Day in India is observed on what day of February? Let's look at the answers here. MP Bridge Bhushan Saran Singh was elected third time unopposed as the president of wrestling federation of india singapore has beaten mauritius to emerge as new delhi's largest source of foreign direct investment india based global audio and music streaming services geo Savan announced that it has secured the first rank india voice and 28th rank globally in 2019 list of 50 most innovative companies chennai spartans defeated calicut heroes 3-0 to win inaugural edition of pro volleyball league and Central Excise Excise Day in India is celebrated every year on 24th of February. So with that, we'll end this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next week's Gainful. Thank you very much.